Welcome back to Against the Grain Living. Uh, this episode, we'll be making it back up to the trapper's cabin. It's been a while since we've been at the property, just working on projects at the house here. It's a chilly one this morning. It was minus 20. Um, but yeah, i uh, got one small project at the trapper's cabin you'll see, and just checking up on the trail cams. Looks like a tree knocked one of my cam down. It's facing the ground. So uh, we'll get that looked after. And uh, we'll see you up there. Well, we're back at the trapper's cabin for the first time in a while. It's minus 10 up there. And we've just done this today. We walked in from the east. It was 4.5K. I used the rest of that 6 mil vapor barrier. Strung it around the outside. So we got it all sandwiched with uh, boards on either side hoping the wind can't get at it too much to rip it and it can make the winter but we managed to wrap all the way around to here and that was the end of the roll so we came out around the <laughs> there's michelle we just finished some stew hot chocolates but so there's still uh gaps up there on either side and where the plastic wouldn't reach if it ever did fill with some smoke in here from us attending to this but uh we threw another thermometer in here and you got no wind chill in here anymore and read right at chest height i don't know if you can see that or not it's like minus two in here and it's minus 10 and windy outside so it holds the heat a lot better well, we're just packing up to uh, head back out of here. Just came in today for a walk and uh, do this job. So it's been, uh, well, I don't know, three, four weeks since I've been cutting trail, trying to get into the new build site. So uh, thank God we got one last shot in before the snow got too deep. I mean, I would have been able to get in with my snowmobile had we had a lot more snow. This year has been kind of pathetic on the, the snow situation. But uh, my uncle was kind enough to lend a hand and he had some units that allowed us to get in there efficiently without wasting the day getting in and out. But you'll see uh, that last 200 meters, uh, we're going to get up there and hopefully get all that done. Well, that corner there is where I left off with uh, my buddies at the side-by-side -side and the Honda. Got my brother and my uncle. My uncle's two four-wheelers my dad's bush buggy. So I'm just leapfrogging up to where they are. We're going to have some lunch. It's a little after 12. But he's got another four-wheeler up there. It's going to happen without good old Uncle Keith. He lives not too far away, so we went to pick him up in his trailer and he's been cutting trail. Doesn't look like much, but you can barely walk through this. But, uh, we'll see if we can make it to the build site today. Well, hopefully you can hear me. There's my brother in front of me on the other machine, the Can-Am 570. And I got the wagon on behind the Polaris. We just made it to my trail and it'll be the first time ever that machinery has made it to the build site. We just gotta go up around this corner, go pick up my uncle, he's down resting on a, a log. <laughs> nice slippery down there. Going for a slide. <laughs> that was slippery with weight down there. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're going the wrong way. Where are you going? Yeah. <laughs> well, this I cut 
last March, April. Come down here. So the trail goes up on that ledge. There's a little plateau there that I want to build something in the future. But the trail goes right by it. And we already have the ice forming on the side of the rock. So there's the build site. We made her. We made her with four wheelers. Smile for the camera. Beautiful. The whole day, made it like 200 meters to get down here. It was nasty up there. Thanks again for watching. That'll wrap up this episode. Um, tune in next time. It's going to get real exciting here shortly. Now that we can actually get the material and units right into the build site, we should start to see some more progress. Not much on the building. There's a couple of months of real busy uh, hauling, trucking, sledding. Got to get all the piles of material up there and a little bit more site clearing and clearing for the piles of material to be out of the way and not in the way of building but uh, tune in next time and we'll slowly get through this and it won't be long next year we should have quite the structure up there and um, i'm real excited for it now it's been a couple of years coming and we're finally getting to the point see you next round